freaking brutal. Six, nine, twelve lands in the first 20 cards. Twelve. No matter what we draw here, we're screwed. We're just screwed. Like, they draw all these lands, all these cards. But what do we get? Nothing. Another culling ritual. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Freaking perfect. <laughs> What up brothers and sisters and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Dude, you're still looking the same. What is up? Yeah, this is video number four I'm doing today. Four videos, so you don't have one day without me. Because yeah, I will be in my hometown. I cannot be recording. It's a funeral of my grandma. So yeah, there is stuff that is sometimes more important. But that doesn't mean that I will not do a video for you. So here we are, video number four. We had two awesome Patreon decks before. So yeah. Today I had to play one of my favorite colors, one of my favorite decks, a Scandal Swarming. So, enough with the yammering, let's get into the Scandal Hammering. So, this is my final version. I don't think that I will be building another Scandal Swarming deck until the next set comes out. And then we will see if it's still viable. But, here it freaking is. Skeletal Swarming. Each skeleton you control is trampled, attacks each combat if able, and gets plus X plus O. Where X is the number of skeletons you control. Pretty good. So if you're tagging with the Faceless Haven, that is also a skeleton. And that is pretty freaking nice. So, ways to bring this down on turn 3 or 4 are actually there. So we have the Shambling Ghast, that can make us a treasure when we sacrifice to the village rights or the deadly dispute. We have a Prosperous Innkeeper, that makes us a treasure and gives us a life every time a skeleton enters the battlefield, and that is very good. And we have the deadly dispute, that's also giving us treasures. So that is very freaking nice. So, uh, yeah. A turn 4 Skeletal Swarming is more than freaking realistic. Otherwise, we can just make it happen with a Culling Ritual, wipe our opponent's board, and if you have treasures, remember to use the treasures to pay for the Culling Ritual, otherwise they will be gonzo. And then you don't have the land. So let's say you have uh, two treasures, four lands, you sacrifice the two treasures to activate the Culling Ritual, now you still have two lands open. So that is the idea behind it. This time we're also going with the Binding of the Old Gods, because I just didn't play it before, I wanted to try it out, so here it is. And uh, yeah, we have the Toski in here. I just thought it would be good, because the more card draw, the more freaking value we have, the freaking better. And with all of these skeletons that have Trample, and with all of these spiders that have Menace, we will get a lot of cards into our hand, and then sooner or later we will just outvalue our opponent. Because even if they destroy one Skeletal Swarming, we can just get a second or a third one, easy as freaking pie. And maybe we have even two or three on the field at the same time, so that is very awesome. And then, as you have seen, we have the Loth, it draws us cards, it makes us spiders, it is very freaking awesome. So, and whenever one of your creatures dies, you get one loyalty, so you can sacrifice your spiders, or whatever, your skeletons, to the deadly dispute, to the village rights, and then make yourself even more spiders, get so much life with the Prosperous Innkeeper. Delish. And if one creature died during your turn, you make two skeletons. So if you have two skeleton swarmings, you make four skeletons. Pretty freaking good. And because we don't care about our creatures dying, the culling ritual is pretty good, because we will just make more creatures. What are 18 years? We will just make more skeletons. And then we have the blood on the snow. Same principle, we don't care. Just erase everything, bring back your loaf, bring back your maybe Toski even, bring back whatever you want, and be annoying as heck. I really freaking love this deck. This time we aren't going with the life drain, we are going with the value. We will see how this turns out. So, land-wise we have six beautiful snow-covered swamps, six beautiful snow-covered forests, with four dark boar slitter boar pathways, four necroblossom snarls, and four faceless havens. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, this is Golgari Rise. Because we have skeletons that will rise indefinitely. We have spiders. Everything about this is so Golgari. Apart maybe from the Toski. That is just not as Golgari as it could be. But the Toski is pretty freaking sweet. And I love it. So, I hope you will enjoy this video. It is video number four. We will see how it turns out. I'm Matches Malone and I will see you in those endless live games. Video number four, the Madlet. What is this hand? 
What is this hand? Thank you, this is way better. This is way better. All right, we're getting rid of the plant on the snow for now. We will get it back soon. <laughs> What's this hand? What, what? Can we, can we get a rewind? Can we? I'm, I'm all alone. I just realized I'm all alone. All right, let's not show him our true colors yet. Not yet. All right, we're up against dragons, aren't we? We are up against dragons, but that is all right. As soon as we uh, hit our skeletal swarming on the field, we're happy. Oh, we're not. Oh, we are kind of against dragons. Weird, but okay. Weird, but okay. So we're putting down a Necroblossom Snarl here. And we will see if they're putting down a blue here. They're not. Okay. Okay, they're not putting down a blue. That is fine. That is pretty fine with me. Pretty fine with me. Alright, the skeletal swarming will be a very painful thing for them to see on the field. Because we are also getting some life back every single time. Alright, they're full on dragons here. Full on freaking dragons. So we're putting down the skeletal swarming now. And then we can still put down the loath next turn. Yes, yes, that is very good. And these are all two drops, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. So we will wait until they maybe make some dragons. And then we will be annoying to them. Very annoying to them. And the loath will be awesome here. Trust me, it will be. And if they block the skeleton, I just get two skeletons. And that is awesome. That is freaking awesome. Oh, I love the skeletal swarming. Turn four skeletal swarming is the best. Just the best. Augusta. All right. Interesting. Pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm taking the damage now. I'm taking it for now. I'm making myself some spiders. So that is pretty much okay. Is this a three drop? All right. It's a three drop. Yeah, I think the binding should stay in my hand, just in case they bring out a dragon. A drag a dragon, yeah. A dragon. Little dragon. So if you block here, I will get myself more skeletons. So that is alright with me. Okay, they do not block here. That is pretty much alright with me. I'm still getting the skeletons. Still getting them skeletons. The Magda. Yeah, yeah, I think soon it will be time to wipe the board here. Very soon. Very, very soon. You're just doing this here now. That is fine with me. That is actually fine with me. Do it. Do it. Go ahead. Do it. Oh, that is smart. I like it. I freaking love it, to be honest. Freaking love it, to be honest. Still, those treasures will be gonzo as well. So I'm not too worried here. Not too freaking worried here. The Necroblossom Snarl. So we will just attack in with everything now. Because we can. Because we freaking can. They're taking the hit. Okay. You do that. You freaking do that. That is absolutely fine with me. And uh, then we will binding off the old gods, the Augusta. Because it is just too awesome not to do. There you go. And then we will get ourselves a snow land and then we're freaking happy. So right now this is looking pretty good. Not gonna lie. Not gonna freaking lie. Okay. This might be too late, my friend. This might just be too late. So, and it is! It is too late! It was a pretty fun deck that we played up against, but we beat him. We freaking beat him. So yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. So that was a perfect mastery class at how this deck wants to perform. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yes, I think, uh, I think we're pretty close to having the perfect skeleton deck. The perfect... We're going first once more. What is this? Krimis? Happy Krimis? It sure is. We're declining. No need to show our true colors yet. Alrighty. 
But we're showing them now, as we do have the uh, Prosperous Innkeeper here. Pretty good. Alright, if they want to do anything to a Prosperous Innkeeper, we just have the uh, Village Rights. And that is alright. We will absolutely also use it. Okay. That is good. That is pretty good. I think we're still dropping the Toski here. I mean, we're drawing a card. What else do you want? The next turn we still do have the Binding of the Old God, so what do you want? And we have two of them now. That is pretty good. Not gonna lie. That is pretty good. So they will have to do something here. Sooner or later they will have to do something, otherwise this gets out of control real quick. Really freaking quick. Oh, they're also white? Interesting. I'm sorry, this will die. Faster than you think. Faster than you freaking think. Bind it! Bind it, my friend! Bind it! Like there is no tomorrow. And draw myself two cards here. So no matter what they play here, we will still bind it. No land? No land. Okay. I mean, it's okay. We're 13 cards in. We will find the land sooner or later. Maybe now. That would be awesome, because in that case, I can just play the loaf. Alrighty. I can't play the loaf, but do I want to? Do I freaking want to? Well, I do. I have the blood on the snow, so I can... I will be able to bring her back somehow. Maybe. Maybe they're also just shooting. Okay, they are. They're just shooting it. So if I do this now, I will not have enough for the loaf. But if they make themselves a treasure token here anyways... Yeah, let's do it. Let's freaking do it. Yeah, we're just making ourselves another Prosperous Innkeeper. Seems about right. Seems about right. Alright, we got a land here. Not good, not bad. So we will see what they're doing here. We still have the village rights. And we still have the loth for later. So that is good. The portable hole. Yeah, we can also binding of the old gods that if we want to. But I think we're just drawing ourselves some cards. Because let's be honest. It's just good to have two cards here. It's just freaking good. So yeah, what you gonna do here, my friend? Do you have a counter spell? That is my only worry here. But now I don't worry anymore. I'm not worried anymore that you might have a counter spell because I have another loaf in hand. They're foretelling something else here. What are they foretelling? What is all this foretellery? Okay. So we're attacking in first. Don't have anything here. Okay. I'm bringing down our love. If they do have a counter spell, they are going to use it here now. Pretty sure about it. Yeah, that's what I thought. That is what I thought, my friend. That is actually what I freaking hoped you would do. Okay. So I counter spell Gonzo for the opponent. And we still have village rights, we still have deadly disputes. So yeah, nothing to worry about here. For now. For freaking now. Okay. Another Tusky. Not useful, but also not that bad. But we will get in there now. Let us see what they're doing. We're still drawing a million cards, so I'm very happy about the situation. Very freaking happy. And if they're using some mana here, I'm also okay with that. They might have another freaking Prismari command. They might have whatever in hand here. Hmm. Let's do this. I mean, we're drawing cards. What else do you want? What else do you want but to be drawing a bajillion cards? Okay. Did we already play a land? I think we did. I think we already played a land. Oh my lord. Okay, we have a lot of lands here. A lot of freaking lands here. So we're discarding 
One binding and the two snow-covered swamps. Just in case. You never know. You never freaking know. So I'm pretty sure that they will still have some... Never not have it. Never not have it. So are they a Cody deck? Are they just a freaking Cody deck? I don't know. I really don't know. Thank goodness this is indestructibility. So together with the blood on the snow, this is pretty tasty. An expressive iteration. Okay. So this wasn't even a counter spell. I could have played my loath. Could have played her. I'm so sad right now that I didn't. So sad that I didn't play her. So what are you doing now, my friend? Are you still foretelling stuff? The portable hole. Okay. What are you portable holding, though? The Shambling Ghast. Alright. So in that case, we can draw even more cards. And get rid of one of these little birdies here. Seems good to me. Seems pretty good to me. Holy smokes. Yeah, we're drawing a lot of land. A little bit annoying, but not the end of the world annoying. Not the end of the world annoying. So how much mana do we have? Five. We do have enough for two Loth if we want to. We do have enough for two of those if we really want to. The side coming number one. We just have enough mana for two of those, so let's play them. Let's freaking play them. So also we're half of our library and we didn't find any of our four skeletal swarmings. Which is very bad, to say the least. Very freaking bad, to say the least. Because we really, really want those. We really need those. Give me one of them. A culling ritual. Okay, still nothing. Still freaking nothing. Okay. Are you attacking in here? You are. That means board wipe? Question mark? Might be board wipe. We will see. But we do have the culling ritual. We do have blood on the snow. So we can bring it all back once we want to. Another Auron's Epiphany. How many more do you have? So they have two Auron's Epiphanies. We don't have a single uh, freaking skeletal swarming. Alright game. All right. Do they have another one, though? Do they have another one, though? That is the only question I have here. Do you have another one? Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. They're going strong here. But that means they don't have another one. So that is all right. That is pretty much all right. I'm merely delayed. I'm merely delayed. I will get so what are you doing here, my friend? What are you doing here? I think they do have more counters. Are you kidding me? Can we really find no? Not a single one of those. Not a single one of those. So can we uh, can we wipe the board here? Would be pretty good. Would be pretty tasty if we could. Did they find another counter spell? Did they find everything they need and we do not find our skeletal swarming? The divide by zero. Pretty annoying to say the least. Pretty freaking annoying to say the least. Alright, good thing we have another Toski. Good thing we have it. They will get rid of our Toski here now. Are you kidding me? We really cannot find one of our four skeletal swarmings, but they had two Aurons already. Yeah, game. Perfectly fine. No reason to worry here. There's nothing to be worried about. Nothing. Okay. So how are we doing this? One, two, three, four, five. They cannot activate their uh, giant over there. We're just putting down another one. No matter what, we will be drawing until we find our skeletal swarmings. Sooner or later we will be finding them. So we're also attacking in here. Because I really want to find those skeletal swarmings. I really freaking do. Really do. Like, what is going on? We're 44 cards in already. Or 34 cards, I'm sorry. I, it's been a long day. And we cannot find one of our scheduled swarmings. Like, the chance to find one. Where is our... Oh, okay, either hub is not working. But uh, our chances should be very, very high to find one. So, yeah. I'm very, very, very confused here. Very confused here. Game. Game. Alright, let's make a treasure. Bring out our Prosperous Innkeeper. Why not? Why not? 
And another shambling gash. Why not? I mean, there's nothing we don't want to do here. Like, all we want is our freaking skeletal swarming. Like, please, game. Please. Just one. Just one. One would be all I need. I bet they found another Aurons here. I'm so sure they did. Like, it would be a wonder if they didn't. Another portable hole. Okay. Well, it's alright. It is alright. It is alright. So we will see if they're blocking with their uh, little uh, little Hall of the Storm Giants here. I want my Skelly swarming here. I cannot get it. Cannot freaking get it. So we're risking it for the biscuit. As I said, if they will be using the Hall of the Storm Giants here, that is absolutely alright. What is this? Ward 3. Alright. Ward 3 is alright. They will be blocking my face, Haven. No, I was pretty sure they would. Pretty sure they would. Oh, this is non-land permanent. Okay. Okay. We still couldn't find it. This is insane. This is freaking insane. Like, seriously freaking insane. I cannot believe it. The audacity by the game. Like, come on. Alrighty. Go ahead. You do that. Can we please find it now? Can we please freaking find it now? Thank you, game. Thank you so much. Oh, my lord. Thank you so much. Thank you so freaking much. I'm so happy right now. Holy Jesus. How is that a thing? That we still only found one though. We still only found one though. And that is insane. That is freaking insane. So are we now? We're not. We're not. We're only attacking him with the Toski. Maybe we find another one. Then we want to play it. If we do find another one, we absolutely want to play it. So they might use one of their blockers here. But that is alright. We're still dealing one damage here, which is good. Maybe we find another one. I mean, it's about time that we do. We do not. We freaking do not. What is going on? Like, what is going on? I cannot believe it. Cannot freaking believe it. Wow. You have to see this to believe it. Like, we have 18 cards left. Like, three of them are freaking skeletal swarmings. Three of them. Like, freaking three of them. What the heck, man? What the heck? At this point, we will just mill ourselves. Just freaking mill ourselves. Do you really have a counter spell now? Do you really have a counter spell now? We will find out. We will freaking find out. If they have a counter spell now, I will be so sad. Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead, draw four cards. What is this game? What is this game? I This is video number four, don't do me like this game. Don't you freaking do me like this. Brutal, freaking brutal. Insanely brutal, insanely brutal. So, but at least we have all the mana in the world. Two, four, they could also just uh, activate one of those suckers. We will find out. We will freaking find out. So we do have two skeletal swarmings now, which is pretty freaking good. Pretty freaking good. So are you counterspelling it? You are not. So here is another one. Here's just another one. Have at it. Have freaking at it. Okay. But well, we will see how this turns out if we mill ourselves before we even have any chance. Any chance of doing anything. I want to make myself four skeletons here. Just in case. If they don't have a doom scar, they're pretty doomed. They are pretty freaking doomed. Alright. So. They need a doom scar. They need a freaking doom scar. Otherwise, as I said, they're pretty freaking doomed. Pretty freaking doomed. 
Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Have all of those. Have all of the divide by zeros. Like, we had to dig into our... Like, the audacity by the game. Freaking audacity by the game. Like, I cannot believe it. There's 13 cards left and we only found two of our four skeletal swarmings. Insane. In freaking insane. So they still need a Doom Scar here. They still do need a Doom Scar. So yeah, also we can always sacrifice our Toski. And maybe we are even doing that. We will see. We will freaking see. Because at this point we will deck ourselves. And that would be bad. There is the Doom Scar. There it is. I was just waiting for it. I was just freaking waiting for it. We still have enough mana for another skeletal swarming here. And I will just play it. I will just freaking play it. Oh, we even have two now. We do have two of those now. So, yeah. What you gonna do here, my friend? What you gonna do here, my friend? What you gonna do here? We're attacking in for five. Will we be decking ourselves? Very soon we will. But I want another skeletal swarming. I want all of them. I freaking want all of them. So here you are. Here they are. All of the skeletal swarmings. So very soon we will deck ourselves. Which I do not like. But hey... I might just, as I said, sacrifice the Toski to our village rights here. I might do it. It might be happening. And you know what? Let's do it so that we can uh, make ourselves a bajillion skeletons. So we have eight cards left in our library. They played two Doom Scars already. How many more do they have? How many more do they have? We'll make ourselves six skeletons here. Six. So yeah. No matter what they do, I think we're looking pretty good. I mean, it's only been 20 minutes now. Only 20 freaking minutes. And we have... Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. So much damage. So much freaking damage on the board. Holy smokes. Holy freaking smokes. This is 96 damage. Almost 69. But it is 96. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. They all have trample. They all have freaking trample. So did you find your third Aurons? Did you find it? Did you freaking find it? Good thing we could sacrifice the Toski. I was pretty happy about that one. There's another Toski. And there's another Skeletal Swarming, my friend. Just another one. Please, show me your power. Show it to me. Show me your freaking power. I don't think that there's anything that they can do in response here. Nothing. Freaking nothing. Oh my lord. 176. Uh, Damn it. Damn it, that was intense. What a game. What a brutal freaking game. Holy smokes. This is my fourth video and I have to play games like this. Brain freaking. Brain freaking breaking. Holy smokes. This might well be our last game for today. This might be our last freaking game for today. We're up against Noah. Okay, I like this hand way better. Do like it way freaking better. All we need is one mana and we're super happy. One mana to be super happy. Just one. Just one singular mana and we're super happy. I know I said this a lot, but my brain is just so fried, especially after the last game. Holy smokes. Seriously, game. Seriously. Always. There is always one. Always one. The eye twitch. Okay, I can live with that. Okay, I said one mana game. One mana to be happy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, attacking in here. Hunting for Spesimen. That is alright. We're bringing down a Prosperous Innkeeper here. And our forest, because why not? Why the heck not? So will they have their own binding of the old gods? That is the only question I have. The only freaking question I have. I hope they don't. I hope they just don't. Okay, there is a shambling guest. Okay, there's two shambling guests. All right. All right. 
So uh, we're doing this now into the skeletal swarming. Because why the heck not? The more life we get here, the better. But there's a skeleton. And then we can binding off the old gods, whatever they do. But they're stuck on land, so I'm okay with that. I'm actually okay with that. What is this? Like, what is... Th what is... What is this? What the heck is this? This is insanity. This is freaking insanity. Okay. We're attacking in here. If they uh, sacrifice the shambling gas, that is fine with me. Because then we will make ourselves two freaking skeletons. So yeah. Oh my lord, yeah, I forgot about that part. But they didn't make themselves a treasure, so I'm okay with that as well. I'm just okay with that as well. They do have their own skeletal swarming. Okay. Well, that is good for us, because we do have the binding of the old gods, and I don't think they do. I don't think they do. Go ahead. Go ahead, my friend. Do not care. Couldn't care less. So you have one little... Oh my lord, game, please. This abundance of lands is just breaking my spirits. Freaking breaking my spirits. So, there's no need for us to attack in with the Prosperous Innkeeper yet. And then we can attack in. Well, we will see what they're doing. They're just attacking in with everything their own. Two, four, five. That is only five. Do not care about that. Couldn't care less. Alright, they do have a uh, blood on the snow. Okay. Whatever you bring him back here, I have a culling freaking ritual. So, yeah. Good riddance. Good riddance. So, we will see what they're getting themselves. I think they will get themselves a um, masked exhibition. So, we will wait with our culling ritual a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, they have a containment breach. That is very freaking annoying. Very freaking annoying. Well, let him do it. Let him freaking do it. We will draw some cards here. And it's going to be spectacular. We will draw something good. I'm pretty sure of it. Oh my lord. They have so many, like, of the same card. Like, what is this? What the heck is this? Like, what the heck is going on? And we do not. We do not. We're just still a little bit behind here. And we drew like two, four, well, how many lands? Five, seven, nine lands in our first 17 cards. Ten lands in our first 17 cards. Like, what is this? What the heck is this game? Come on. They will overrun us with six lands. Yes. Give it to me, game. Give it to me good. Ten lands. I mean, look at it. Ten lands in the first 18 cards. Is this supposed to happen, like, so many times? Is it now? I don't think it is. I don't think that that is the plan of the game. I don't think it is. And they have two and three offs everything they play. Everything. Like, freaking everything they play. Two and three offs everything. Everything. There's not a single card. They didn't have a two or a three off. What? Game. Game. Come the heck on. Like, come on. We will die to Magecraft at this point. But like six, eleven lands in the first 19 cards. And they're like 20 cards deep. And they had like three, seven lands. Did they throw away a single one? Not a single one. Not a single land was thrown away. Not a single land was thrown away. Yeah, we will die to freaking mage. Come on. Come on. Like, have you ever seen a more forced loss than this? Have you ever seen a more forced loss than this? Ever in your entire life? Ever. Like, ever. Never, ever have I seen something like this. 
Never have I seen something like this. Never in my entire freaking life. Never. This is freaking brutal. Six, nine, twelve lands in the first 20 cards. Twelve. No matter what we draw here, we're screwed. We're just screwed. Like, they draw all these lands, all these cards. What do we get? Nothing. Another culling ritual. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Freaking perfect. If at least we would have drawn, like, a freaking board wipe that would have helped us here. Have you ever seen a more forest loss in your life? Ever in your entire life? This is bananas. This was bananas. Freaking bananas. So all these updates and they couldn't get the more than 50% land rate fixed? Get out of here. Get out of here, Winners of the Coast. Mordecai, at least we have time for a fourth game because it would feel so weird to only play three. Okay. So, we have a normal land ratio. We have two lands. We can make ourselves some treasures. Of course, the opponent is going first, which I do not like. But I do like that we have the uh, snow-covered forest here. But I'm still... This is so bonkers. Like, how could we draw 12 lands in our first 20 cards? Like, that is insanity. That is just insanity. That is just, like, a huge F you by the game. It's just a... You know what? How about you lose from now on? How about there's nothing left for you but to lose? How about that? How about damn potatoes? Potato potatoes. That was just brutal. Like, freaking brutal. Holy smokes. Never have I ever seen something like that in my entire freaking life. Never, ever, have I ever seen something like that. So we're getting rid of this Professor of Symbology. Don't want to see it. Don't want anything to do with it. And maybe we're even drawing some... Is this just a repeat of the last game? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Like, what the heck? What the heck? How can somebody draw? So this is almost again 50% freaking lands. Brutal game. Get out of here. Get a grip. Get a freaking grip. Holy smokes. Holy freaking smokes. Brutal. Just brutal. I cannot, will not, shall not accept this. Never ever. So they're playing, uh, okay. They will have a counter spell for this now, so let's chill for now. But how long can we play around the counter spell? Well, if they do have a counter spell, they're better using it here. And if they don't have a counter spell, that is pretty good for us. That is indeed pretty freaking good for us. Are we sacrificing one of these spiders? To get ourselves. Is it worth it? Now we can still do it later. These uh, mana spiders are just a little bit better. And we don't need to laugh. How can you draw these many lands? How is that a thing? How is that normal for the game? How is that normal? Like, what the heck? I have played so many games of magic in my life. And this just happens sometimes on a basis that is not okay. Not okay. But do they have the uh, board wipe here? They have the Imrith. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah, it's alright. It's alright. It's uh, alright. Are we drawing here with the skeleton, though? Well, we aren't. We aren't. We're not drawing with the skeleton here. We're drawing another freaking land. Okay, game. Okay. We have to attack in with everything but the Prosperous Innkeeper. I mean, they can get rid of my Loth. I do not care about that at all. I do not care about it at all. But I will draw myself a card here with the Scally Boy. Yes, yes. Okay. Another skeletal swarming. Don't mind me if I do. So now we're finding them. Now we're finding them. So finally we have a fair freaking game of magic here. For us at least. For us at least. So. 
a normal ratio of things. So this is an extra turn, isn't it? This is just an extra turn, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Otherwise, they would be attacking the Loth. Otherwise, they would be attacking the Loth. I'm pretty sure of it. Pretty freaking sure of it. This is an extra turn. But can they kill us here now? We will find out very soon. So, they would need one more land and one more extra turn to be very, very annoying. If they don't have it, we're kind of okay. Okay, it looks like they don't. Looks like they don't. Otherwise, they would just have attacked in with everything here. Why shouldn't they? Like, why the heck shouldn't they? Just attack in with everything. And we're getting in for so much freaking damage. Mm -mm -mm. So much freaking damage. Go ahead. Do whatever you want. We're still getting in there. You didn't kill the Loth. That might have been a huge freaking mistake. Because if you wipe the board here, we're so good. Oh, they scoop! They scoop! Four videos, four successful freaking videos in a row. One day, it only took me seven hours. Mmm, get out of here, game. Mmm. This is a random song about my Patreons and my members too. I wouldn't be able to do anything I do without all of you. So I want to thank all of my Patreons, members, and my supporters in general. All of you guys are freaking amazing. But our Patreons and members make this show a little bit more possible for all of us. So let's thank them from the bottom of our hearts. Starting with us, Andrew the Great Hardest, Randy Campbell, John, Chris Stevens, Automatom, Vinci MH, Vicky White, John Val, Emanuele Colognato, Felipe Rodriguez Sias, Jeremiah Francois, Darlene Kelly, Julian Bliffernich, and Grey Wolf. Thanks so much. A special thanks to our Gold Span Dragons, mm, Waffles, Randy and K. Donald T, Floriano Scott, Jan Newman, Simster65, William Whitehead, Tim Clandy, Rico Colombaroli, Marco Marino, your boy Big Bizzle, Mr. Mild, Damien Tay, and James Wade. <gasps> And a special thanks to our Nico Bolas, God Pharaohs, Earl, Chris Katowski, Grandoff, Danny Montgomery, William Smith, Ariel Wolf, The Lacrime, and Brian O'Reilly. Thank you guys and gals so freaking much. I really appreciate that you're going the extra mile, supporting the channel with your heart and cash. You are all so pretty freaking sweet indeed. So, if you want to check out the Patreon or the membership, there's a button and a link below every single video, you can check it out there. And if you don't have any audio cash to share, don't you worry, I still appreciate you so freaking much. And that is why today I have a thank you all. Four videos in one single day is a lot. I now have just exactly the time to render the video and bring it up online for today. Well, for Tuesday, Wednesday, it was Wednesday, so yeah. Wednesday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. These four videos will be done though, so on Sunday when I'm at my mama's place, there will be two more Malone at his mama's place videos. It's going to be awesome, so I want to thank each and every one of you for all the support. We crushed the 4,500, we're as the making of this video at 4,600, and we will see how many it will be when this video actually comes out. So, thank you guys for all the support over the last few months, I really appreciate it. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.